These are the stories. There is a foundation out there that helps you get back into it. Of organizations making a difference. What really limits our ability to do something is people's imagination. And empowering others across Canada. When I get into that sledge, I'm free, man. I'm playing hockey. It's a great organization and it's worth supporting. In our community. When I discovered that uh, there was such a thing as blind hockey, I was hooked on it right away. It's been amazing. I, I, I've never played hockey in my life. I've actually never been a hockey fan. It's so much fun. On, on ice and off ice experience too, sharing our knowledge and sharing our experiences. For people living with visual impairments and a love for winter sports, Red Deer, Alberta just became a rural community with something unique to offer. The town sits between Edmonton and Calgary, and just like the rest of the province, can have long winters. But that doesn't seem to stop anyone from having some fun in the snow. Stu Bellick and his family enjoy being outdoors at their acreage just outside of Red Deer. We live uh, on top of a hill in a rustic cabin, lots of open spaces, good view surrounded by trees and farmland. Well, to me, it's paradise. My grandson, Caden, and myself are riding a snowmobile, taking it up and down our little ski hill, as we call it. Uh, he goes down, I fetch him at the bottom and bring him back up, and we do that for hours on end. Any activity is good for everybody, but I think, uh, you know what? When you have a sickness or disease, it's better to Go out and enjoy while you can, because in my case, if it gets worse, I might be a little more limited in what I do, but enjoy it when you can. Well, I've always known that I've had not perfect vision. Even growing up, I had, you know, glasses in elementary school and, and I stopped wearing them because it didn't seem to change anything. It didn't really seem to help, but it wasn't up until 1988 where I did, uh, See, I have a specialist see my eyes and um, said that I had a condition called retinitis pigmentosa, more commonly known as RP. Retinitis pigmentosa is a genetic disorder that affects the, um, the cells in your retina. When the pigmento pigmentation blocks your retina or closes it in, then eventually loss of sight. Just brushing the snow off the snowmobile to get it ready to go for a ride with the toboggan and my granddaughters and my daughters. My name is Brittany and I am Stu's oldest daughter. My name is Asia and I'm Stu's youngest daughter. So we're about to go for a skidoo ride. Um, we do this quite frequently in the winter. Otherwise, in the summer, we go on quads or dirt bikes. So that's kind of what we do for fun as a family. We both played minor hockey um, growing up, and then Dad also coached and managed the teams, so he was a pretty big part of our hockey lives as we were younger. Well, I've always liked hockey, and both of our daughters played competitive hockey, and I was always helping, managing, or assistant coach. So I, I liked the game. I was always intrigued by the game. We saw a Facebook post that Dustin had posted for the bullseye blind hockey team and I replied and that's how it started. Before that, I had no idea that there was such a thing. My name is Dustin Butterfield and I am the creator and the facilitator of uh, Central Alberta bullseye blind hockey. So we are out behind my barn. This is where I practice blind hockey. I played a lot of hockey as a kid and at different times as an adult. I, I guess once I heard of blind hockey, I just was open to giving it a try. To be honest, I didn't know, I didn't know too much what to expect. Blind hockey is immediately recognizable as hockey. It has all of the same rules with just a few adaptations. 
to play a game of blind hockey, uh, you just need all your hockey gear and you need this puck here. This is a blind hockey puck. It's a lot larger than a normal hockey puck. It's made out of metal and it's hollow in the middle and it has eight or nine metal ball bearings in it. The idea of that is it's a little bit easier to see. It's slower and everywhere it moves on the ice, it's going to make some sound. The only other rules that you would really need to know to step out there and play is that there's a clean pass rule. When you go over the offensive blue line, you have to make a clean pass before you can be eligible to score. And then the blind hockey goalies, they're always blindfolded and they often have very little or no vision. Oh, it's absolutely changed my life. You know, just uh, the passion and the happiness. And obviously I have a lot of love for it because in the last uh, nine months, I've spent hundreds of hours um, working on bullseye blind hockey and organizing events and trying to get more people involved and trying to get sponsors. Very few people know. I know I leave our puck, or one of our large diameter pucks out on the counter and, you know, we have friends or family or company drop by and they're all just astonished. They'd have no idea there is such a sport. So yeah, no, there needs to be some more awareness and, uh, and hockey's Canada's sport. So yeah, I think, I think it'll, it'll take off eventually. Blind hockey just brought me a lot of joy. It was, it's just great to get back into the game, just to be competitive, um, to play, to take some hard shots, and uh, really to get to know a lot of the other people that are going through the same visual challenges as I am. Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. My name is Dustin Butterfield. We came out here uh, in Red Deer to the outdoor rink and uh, just to have a little bit of drill and have some fun. It's a great feeling. I, I knew um, how much a lot of the guys were gonna love the sport, getting back into hockey or finding hockey new, um, because only a few years ago I had the same experience. I thought I would never be playing hockey again. And then to just rediscover it was just, it's such a source of happiness, right? My name is Margot Butterfield, and I'm here watching my husband play blind hockey. All right, tell me where you are. I think it came at a perfect time in his life, as his vision has been degenerating all the time. Uh, but he got to the point where he had to stop driving, and it was at the same time that he had started to play blind hockey. And I think it was a new thing for him to focus on, a new passion. And the other thing that he found is when he walked into the room, into the dressing room with these other guys, and they're all fumbling around trying to shake hands, and you know they can't see each other that great or can't see each other's hands that great. And he said it didn't matter because they were all in the same boat, and he was like, it feels so much more comfortable. Everybody's the same, and they're just out there to have fun. I think there's just a lot of joy in the camaraderie, you know, and uh, just, I just love the sport, right? There's just so many positives, especially for a visually impaired person to be into it. Like at age 38, I'm in the best shape of my life. Um, so there's that side of it. And it's, you know, it's just a big thing for your mental health, right? It's something that you go and you're with uh, similar people and you just play, play hockey, mainly for the love of the game. Our team gets together regularly for our practice at the Gary W. Harris Canada Games Centre at Red Deer College. My name's Stu Bellick. I'm a player on the Red Deer Bullseye hockey team. 
This is my first year playing blind hockey, but uh, in my younger days, I played competitive hockey. I always practiced with my daughters. Both of my daughters played hockey, so I was always on the ice with them. So I kept it up somewhat, but not in a game situation. So it's coming back. Just one of our regular practices, uh, getting new people uh, familiar with the game, getting the old guys who have played before, getting used to the new puck and uh, the new uh, challenges associated with uh, blind hockey. The first time you uh, use that blind hockey puck and you realize as it moves around that it's constantly making noise and can draw your attention to it, um, you can start to realize that, hey, I think I, I'm going to be a hockey player again. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty special. My name's Corey, and I am uh, playing blind hockey. You got her, CJ, hard, hard, yeah. It's crazy how much uh, I've improved over the past few months. Uh, I uh, like, I was, I could barely skate when I first got on the ice, so now I, I'm doing all right. Uh, who's gonna partner with Corey? I can go, Corey. Okay, there you go. The, the people, they're all awesome, it's super helpful, and yeah, just getting out on the ice is a blast. I mean, if you can shoot anywhere from in here, top of the circles, that's one of your best chances to score, of course, right? We've been uh, just doing basic hockey drills to involve the newer players also. So pretty basic drills. The more they get used to it, the more we'll involve and the more uh, plays. Okay, let's, let's fire it back to our end. We'll go back there. We're still at the more of a beginner level to accommodate everybody. Don't be afraid to charge the net, guys. Don't be afraid to charge the well, net. I never thought I'd be able to play hockey in my life. So, and that's why I had no interest in it before. And now I'm loving it. Say here, 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 real loud, because I'm not even going to see you to pass. If I hear you calling for the puck loudly, I'm just going to slide it in your direction, right? Well, I really struggled because I haven't played competitive hockey for years. So, um, tracking the puck was uh, difficult for me at first. So, and then another challenge is uh, here, 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 here. tracking your location on the ice. You're trying to focus on the puck. You're trying to focus on the other players, the referee, and the nets. So, you know, trying to get your bearings on the ice was a challenge for me. But the more I pull, the better it feels. It feels more natural now every time I go on the ice. In a regular game, yeah. um, is there a lot of passing, or is there more when you get in the zone fire shoot? Well, you can score from anywhere, right. so you want to. But I mean, is there... Once you get the puck in the zone, fire it. I would or, say you mostly you go for the goal. Once that right. clean pass okay. whistle blows, you just go for right. it, right? Yeah. And if you get the puck off, off the ground, but hit the net, you know, you got a decent chance of scoring, right? right? Okay. I felt more equal and, you know, your disability didn't stand out. You were just one of the, the team. You know, people didn't look at you if you missed the pass. They didn't frown on you for not, or for bumping into the boards or the hockey net. So yeah, we're all in the same group, going through the same thing. So I, it's really, it's really good. You know, you don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to feel ashamed if you miss the pass, or you know, everybody's going through the same. We're trying our our best. Next weekend at 2 p.m. we have a one-hour ice time, and uh, instead of just having a practice and a scrimmage, we decided to invite um, all the Edmonton Seahawks line hockey players and the Calgary Seeing Ice Dogs blind hockey players. Uh, so some of them are coming down next Saturday and uh, we're gonna have a, basically a one hour game with the Edmonton and Calgary players. I'm extremely excited about next week's uh, first game against Edmonton and Calgary players. It should be a, a new experience again, learning how to uh, play with the new rules and the, the referee's whistle. So, it's another learning curve, but I'm looking forward to it, the challenge. Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. We're loading up. 
All right, let's go, girls. My name is Dustin Butterfield. Today is game day. Yeah. I guess we're calling it the Blind Hockey Battle of Alberta. Okay, we just walked into the arena here in Red Deer. Got to just check in with everybody and uh, see them as they get here. And uh, make sure everybody gets the right color jersey. Make sure uh, we get some refs that are all ready to step out there and ref blind hockey for the first time. And uh, just gear up, get our gear on, get our skates on. And we're also gonna just, once everybody's ready, we're gonna spend five or 10 minutes uh, just talking about, about getting out there and having some fun. And uh, it's always good with the blind hockey players to really communicate what's gonna go on and what's going to happen after the game, just so they're ready for everything. Uh, my name is Stu Bellick. I'm with the uh, Red Deer Bullseye Blind Hockey Team. Uh, we're going to get ready to play the Battle of Alberta. Uh, my first blind hockey game. We're uh, getting ready to go. From my name is Lauren Weber. I'm the uh, uh, one of the goalies for the Evan and Seahawks, and the, the uh, one of the goalies on for uh, Canadian National Blind Hockey Team. And uh, here today we are doing the Battle of Alberta with the Edmonton Seahawks, Calgary Seeing Ice Dogs, and Bullseye Blind Hockey. So, so the, the, your lowest uh, uh, vision players are your goalies. So we typically have uh, less than 1% vision or 0% or vision uh, at all. And then just to make absolutely certain, they, uh, you have to wear the eye shades to take away you know, any possibility of, you know, of uh, any leftover vision helping out at all, just to put everybody on the same playing field. Okay, guys, let me gather your attention here for a, a minute. I, I assume the Zamboni's probably on the ice by now. So I just wanted to go over a few things. You know, just uh, I thank all the vision impaired guys and uh, sighted guys for coming out today for this game. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be lots of fun. So one of the things you need to know, only the vision, visually impaired players are gonna be eligible to score. These refs, you gotta go easy on them because they're just volunteers that have been skating with us here. Thank you refs. Um, but I, I've told them lots of the rules and stuff. They have the pass whistles, right? The, for getting a clean pass. Sounds good. Well, let's get out there, guys. I got enough pucks for the warm up. So, I think what we're going to do to start, we're going to play three of the sighted on defense, and we will play five forward. So, I guess I, for now, I'll just send uh, like Brett here, right? Yeah. Brett, come, Brett's going to come play forward with me and Corey and Stu. So that, because only vision impaired can score. Yep. When that game starts, it's, it's just a great feeling to get back in the game, right? If you're visually impaired or you have other challenges, you're gonna return to hockey and it's not gonna be the same as it was, but it's much more important just to be back in the game, just to be, just to be a hockey player. All right. Going great, it's lots of fun out there. I guess we got the first goal with the wraparound, which is cool. Go, go, go. Seems to be going back and forth though, so both teams are getting some chances. So that's the game going. Dustin likes to have a sighted volunteer with every visually impaired player. My daughters have both played hockey, so they one has joined us so far. My name is Asia Bellick. I am here to support uh, my father. Hockey has been a huge thing for him his whole life. Uh, me and my sister, we grew up playing hockey and it's just a huge thing for him to come out and be able to be on a sport, on a team again. I got an assist on the second goal of the game. So at that time we were feeling pretty good and we were up by two. Late in the game, it was two to two, and then it was three to two for the other team. Yeah. 
The, the clock's running out. Oh, the buzzer's gonna go. Guys, we're... Line up right here, yellow! We're doing a shootout on the goal, on the black goalie. They're doing a shootout on the yellow goalie. Refs, you just call them. Let them know and if they score or not. You know, here, you come. You can be the first guy. You're going to shoot on the black goalie. First? Just to shoot out. Yeah. Okay, let's go, yellow. Right here, Corey. Right here, Corey. Right here. Right here, Corey. Attaboy. Good job. Yeah, that was great to, to see Stu get, get in there in the shootout. He's a veteran hockey player and he's got a good hard shot. Handshake, guys! Handshake! I guess. Good job, good job. Good job, Corey. Good game. I am packing my hockey bag back, with my, back up with my equipment, and the game just finished. I grabbed the puck off the boards and passed it, and I think it was Dustin that got the goal. First game, got an assist. That's not bad, I would say. I scored my first goal in my first blind hockey game. Pretty pumped. Uh, I didn't get one during the actual game, but in the shootout I did, so I'm counting it. <laughs> I was feeling anxious at the start, but my nerves calmed down after I uh, met the other players from Edmonton and Calgary, and we're all there, there to have fun, and uh, we're just having a common interest. I'd say you can do it. It doesn't matter how low your vision is. You may think that you can't do it, and you, there may be some people that would tell you that you, you can't take on some challenges like that, but you can definitely play hockey. Producers, Tamara Lassard and Elise Graham. Director, Tamara Lassard. Field producer, Elise Graham. Writer, Tamara Lassard. Narrator, Mark Phoenix. Interviewer, Tamara Lassard. Director of photography, Tamara Lassard. First cinematographer, Aaron Munson. Camera assistant, Karina Leslie. Location sound, Dimitri Bandit. Editor, Scott Parker. Post sound, John Blaireau. Production assistant, Elise Lesky. Production coordinators, Elise Graham and Elise Lesky. Special thanks, Central Alberta Bullseye Blind Hockey Team and their many supporters. Integrated described video specialist, Simone Cupid. Regional content specialist, Jim Crisco. Graphics, Andrew Antonello. Coordinating producer, Jennifer Johnson. Consulting producer, Colette Vosberg. Director of production, Kara Nye. Director of programming, Brian Perdue. Vice President Programming and Production, John Melville. President and CEO, David Arrington. Produced with the participation of Canada Media Fund. Copyright 2020, Accessible Media Inc.